i hope everyone is doing great so today we are going to learn another topic okay so if you remember in last class we learned property read uh, like in property read we learn how to mask the data like if any property is there and we don't want few group of user or set of users that they don't want to read completely then we can mask it okay so that we learn there are few more actions but so basically this uh, this comes from the attribute based access control policy and that is what we say abec also in short form so property read we, we saw in last class okay so if, if you haven't watched i'll attach that video link as well in today's video okay and then the two second one today we are going to see is the read okay so let's first understand that what is read so read is very similar to property read only so in case of property read like we were just restricting the read on a property okay like let's say i have a nine digit ssn number which i'm masking five digit and then just showing the last five in case of read what we'll be doing that we will not allow that user to read also let's say we have a case okay c1 uh, so we, like if if that condition is not satisfying okay then he won't be able to see that case okay if condition is satisfying access control policy conditions will be satisfying then only he can see the c1 case okay so this is that okay so let's for let's go and and try to understand like do the poc okay let's implement end to end and then see how read will work and then we'll go to discovery so let's dive to the page okay let me close i have many things open so first things i what i'll do i'll go to access control policy and so access control policy comes under security so we'll click here access control policy and we'll try to create one so i'll just give a name case read okay depending on your business you can give whatever and in the in this access we will be selecting read so this is what i was talking we have already uh, like seen property read okay and today we are going to see read and discover okay update is like it's a very similar to read only just in case of update is that he can read but he cannot update so i hope that if i like uh, if we cover read and discover you'll be able to do it update and delete because update and delete is very sim similar like it's the same thing if the condition is matching then only he can update if condition is matching then only he can delete if condition access control policy is not matching he cannot delete why i am covering read because read and discover is interrelated okay so if you are going to implement discover then you should have minimum one read okay access control policy otherwise you cannot do that i'll show you so let's say if i if i'll go and try to create a discover on the class okay so this is my class so let's say if I, this is my class and so if i'll go and try to create read, discover let me see because it should not allow see it's a saying discover policy cannot be created as there is no read policy for the class okay so this is the the problem okay so first we need to create and understand read then only we can implement discover so let me try read okay and then i'm implementing on this class so but before implementing okay let's see that so i have a case i have another user and, and through this is the user like i have logged in with the user id and this is the q1 case if you see here let me refresh this one so if you see i have a q1 case right so here you can see that this one this case i can i'm able to read it now okay there is no issue i can able to read it i can go and and create like kind of approve it but what i'll do I'll, I'll what i'll do i'll implement the read policy so that user cannot read that this q1 case or like basically the instances of this case so once i'll implement this access control policy i should not able to see that so let's see that how we'll do that so i'll i'll just create here and then i have already created a when rule which i which i'll be explaining case read and just give this one okay so, so this is access control policy and then here access control policy in this one in condition so what i am saying that if it is a user so i'm checking okay that user access group is insurance underscore user so so this will return me true okay if i if i log in with this approver one because this is that uh, the access group of this user is in a user okay so this condition is true and okay so then we need to go to if this is true then it will go to this one and then px create operator i have marked it is null that means like our so you know that px create operator cannot be a null so then we will get false for that user but let's say if i'm trying to do something from the like uh, this user right uh, the the logged in user so we can able to create and we can read the cases and the reason is 
that for the other type of cases let's say if the user is not user okay this condition is not getting true then it will fall to otherwise and then b condition will get executed and in b we are saying that px create operator is not null obviously because px create, create uh, operator is not null then it will be true and then this operator can read it okay but now so we have implemented it let's save this one and now let's go and try to open that case okay and this is just i'm showing an example obviously there should not be any case okay in your work list okay like it should be implemented before and or let's say that before implementation of this let's say I, this is we are in dev in moment and we already have some case in our work list and then after that after we implemented read and now we're testing it so now if i'll test see i'm getting this one cannot open case q1 okay context statement status so basically this is the message coming because of that case read okay now again if I'll just delete it quickly, if I'll delete and show you, I can access that case. See, I'll go again here and open the case keyword. See, I'm able to open it. Now, if I'll just again go and restore it and try to work on it, we'll see the error message. See, one second. See, we are getting an error. Let me click. See. We are getting an error and it's a saying that we cannot because we are not authorized user is not authorized to open that so this is what the message we are getting okay so we understood it let's revisit the conditions again so we just simply implemented on uh, like read policy and then in that conditions what we are saying that if it is a true then the user can read that cases and he can work like basically read this is just for read he can read but if uh, uh, if uh, like the condition is the uh, access control policy is returning false so if it is user then we are going a okay so yes it is user based on that our access group and then we are going to a and then we have configured that px create operator is, nu is null so definitely it will not be null so then he cannot see that so this is for the read i hope you you understood it like once you'll watch you'll definitely understood it so now let's go uh, uh, let's understand what is discover and why we need discover things so let's think that this user cannot read these cases, okay? But he wants to see the status of this case, that what is the status of this case, okay? And the reason is that, you know, like many of the times, okay, when we call to calls, call center guy, they say that, okay, sir, I don't have much access, but I can tell you what is the status of your case. So basically, he cannot read the entire case, but he should read some of the attribute, okay? Whatever we want to expose, okay, that he can read basically okay so for that only we have the discover feature if i'll go to this pdn article here this is what it is saying that access control policies support discovery features that allow users to view limited customizable information about the class instances that fail read policy but satisfy discover policy so basically what it is saying that read policy will fail but discover will be true for those users and they can see the limited information and, and that is where here it's saying a customizable information means whatever we want to showcase them okay so let's see how we can implement it so to implement this read first of all what we need to do we need to create the access control policy with read okay so let's now so you see that last time i had created still i have not deleted so if i'll just save now it will work let me save this one see it worked because i had already a read now for the read okay what I have implemented here, that here we need to return always true, okay, if it is a user or like, uh, either it's a user or like not user, we don't care, okay, so this will be always true, basically he can, so here we have implemented read, right, on the same, similar when rule was there, but for that uh, read policy we were returning false, means he cannot read, read was failing, but for this discover, we are saying no, read will not fail so how we are saying that we have configured a right so and then just it's if it is a user or not user in both the cases we are going to a conditions just we have added one a and then just added px create operator is not null so basically px operator create uh, px create operator won't be null so then this conditions will be true okay for the users as well but for the users read will fail so this q1 case right so he the user cannot access they cannot uh, access this case but let's say if he wants to see like he's interested to see the status and few other things so how we can do that okay so that is what the whole uh, like uh, uh, discover does it 
okay so to enable that what we need to do so we we created this one right and we need to do few more steps okay so to see that how read is working okay so you can see in the report as well report viewer pega is saying but what i have done okay that we have this px discoverable items so this is the sections which we need to configure anywhere in so what i am doing i'll i'll be configuring in my home page okay here so px discoverable item so this is the sections which you need to add let's say that here i want to display basically i have already configured that is why it's showing that here i have already configured the two discoverable re results for the report basically you can configure anywhere or you can configure directly report so here if i'll click here so you can see that q q2 and q1 both is showing okay even though i don't have access to q2 and q1 and here there is only one column i can add more column so that he can see let's say if call center is guys like someone is calling and call center guy is speaking and saying okay then he can tell that okay sir i can't access your q2 case okay but i can tell you the status okay so as of now status is not not there but we can add it so how this section is coming okay so let's see that so if you go to home screen right so like this is the sections which i have which you read here right on this pdn article it's clearly saying that this is the sections which we need to configure so if i show you view references so i have added in my home section let me show you so home main right so if i'll go to the i'll close this section so here i have added that the same px discoverable discoverable items and then here in parameters we need to pass few things okay so here i have passed one default report okay basically any report you can create okay or you can use out of the box here uh, work there is a report also px py discoverable reports you can use this one also but here i had a report so i just give my class and then this one and here it's a saying so discoverable count you want to see or not and that is where i have checked that so i can see that two discoverable items is there for me i can't so again i'm saying this two items i can't read complete data but the minimum details which i can see which like the developer or that system is exposing so as of now this is just two details is coming i'll show you i'll add more and i'll show you so this is one thing which we need to do we need to add this px discoverable item section and this is the sections and then you need in parameter you need to check this if you want to show the count you need to check and and then you need to give a default report basically we can create a report in work class okay or if you have any default report so this this was created by pega by default so this is the report i used it few more things which we need to do is okay here it's a pega is saying that you need to configure this one so this is the sections py is discovery enable for operator so by default discovery is disable for all operator so if you want to enable for all operator what you need to do simply go and save as this out of the box one okay let me open that out of the box one view siblings so this is the out of the box one and it's returning false you can see that one not equals to one okay which is returning false so that is where we need to save as this one and we need to just from not equal we need to make it equal so that this when rule will return true okay and one more thing which is which you which you can do if you are showing this discoverable link okay in any report then you need to make this dss also true so these all dss and all things you'll get in the article i'll attach the article link so this one also you need to mark that true okay so this is this is just required okay after this okay what will happen whatever the cases i'll be creating here i can create one more case i'll show you so if i'll create one more case so we'll get the count okay so i created that i assigned that case okay so if i'll go here and search we won't see that case see we won't see that case he doesn't have a read access okay but what he can do is that here okay here see we have a three discoverable item so he can see the status so as i'm saying now we can modify and add more details so let's say that we want call center guy to expose few more details so status when the case was created when the last updated so these things if you want to expose to them we can do that and how we can do that let's see that so for that we have out of the box report here this is the report name px discoverable i discoverable report so basically we need to save as this report in our class 
so this is there in work class and this is basically works on mostly work okay if you read here somewhere it was saying that it mo only works on the work instances somewhere i was reading here here features apply to instances of work and data classes and and when data is retrieved from the pega database okay but only apply to instances of the work class and when data is retrieved from the search index okay so i think let me read again to discovery features Okay, pure discovery program must true. These features apply to instances of work and data as classes when data is retrieved from the Pega data. Server. So I think it will work for work and data, and that is where we have this report in both the classes. So data also similar things like let's say that you have some data saved in your database. Okay, in data instances, you just want to expose few. Okay, so for that also we can use it. So now what we'll do? We'll see this. Take this work one, and this is the C. You can see that py ID and the work y uh, work ID. So this data is coming from this data is coming from there only. Now we can add few more columns here. So we can save as, and then we can save as to our class. So that in future, if you want to include our property, we can do that. So work ID is there. We'll add few more. So we'll add uh, px create date time. We'll add px update date time, and then we'll add a status py status work so what we are doing that the user okay which cannot read these cases but he can see these informations okay and what how he can help is that like how it will help let's say that in which kind of a business scenario you can use it okay so that is what i'm explaining that you can use this with this features where where that you don't want to we don't want users to see the entire case but like at least he can see some minimum information so that if he wants to update it to someone else he can do that and the best example is that if a person is sitting at a call center okay or you're chatting with someone and asking for a status so he can just see the status and then tell you so let's refresh here see we are seeing this detail so now he let's say that on home page you have like attached this link right you have enabled you have embedded that section so whenever someone is calling he can simply do that and he can check that case id search that case id and he can tell that okay when the case was created when last updated and what is the status he can at least tell that so this is for today's class let's again recap okay that for read like let's recap from the read so if you want to create a discover first we need to create a read and we created access control policy for read first and for read it was very simple okay and again i'm saying that if access control policy is returning true then only user can read read means that yes i can read when conditions will be true so here you can see that for user we are returning false is null means user cannot read <coughs> sorry user cannot read now for the same discover what we have done okay that we have made that okay user can read okay so basically we are making read fail okay but discover true okay so he can he can see these cases okay if i'll make this discover also let me see discover is is null let, let's try that so we are making this discover also false for uh, user okay so this will user and then here it will come user is true and then px creator is null so this is false right let's see that what is happening if i'll come here see there is no item he cannot discover that because for discover we have made that so what we have done okay we have made read false and discover false so he cannot discover okay if i'll come to home screen we cannot see that sections at all see that section itself gone because pega had put a condition that if you have a minimum one discoverable item then only it will show now let's go back and enable that let's basically let's return true okay so the moment i'll return true and come here and refresh we can see that see and then we can see that cases as well so it's a very simple okay but useful useful information so you you try and and let me know if it is working well for you and if you again i'm saying if you need a complete training okay uh, where you want to learn in more details more business scenario then you can contact on the given email address okay so that's it for today's sessions uh thank you thank you very much have a good day bye